I was 12 years old. My mother wanted me to play the piano. And I just thought it didn't look real masculine for a guy that just got back from fifth grade football practice to go play the piano. Because I was young and dumb and not very worldly up there. And so my Italian grandfather had one of those concertinas, you know, that. And so I thought that was a little more cool. And uh, so I told my mom I'd play that. And so I had a little one, and we had a guy, and I practiced, and I played for about a couple months. And then, and I only injury I ever had in sports, I, I broke all my knuckles. And so I couldn't play. And uh, they had just bought me a new accordion. I think maybe it was for Christmas. It's upstairs now. It still looks good, because it was never used. And I, uh, you know, I, I, tr I, I knew how to read music, and I, uh, I didn't want to be known as a dumb jock, so I learned how to read music. And I, uh, I took it out at Christmas when Mariucci and I were GAs, you know. I told you the story, neither one of us could get a date, but we were supposed to go to the Christmas uh, show on campus. So I took him, he took me. Um, I only knew two songs. Every time I asked, now, what song would you like to hear? That was Mariucci's job to say up on the rooftop or Jingle Bells. And he did a very good job of that. That's probably where he became a star. He was, he was really good at that. So he did it. We started doing it every Christmas. And I got down here. And I wasn't going to play that thing in front of Judd. Now, that wasn't, that wasn't going to happen. So it didn't happen. And then uh, I don't know why. Somebody said something to me the radio show and I said something and so I just started doing it, you know, and it, uh, so I did what I always do. Last night, got home about 8.30 after a long day and I pulled it out and I practiced and uh, my daughter came by because she wanted to hear the practice. Uh, I think my wife FaceTimed my mother because she's always concerned about my musical ambitions and uh, I didn't do bad for the first time, and now I'm dealing with you guys. I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna take a half hour, and I'm gonna shut my door, and I'm gonna practice. Because one year I went in just kind of really cold, and I'm always bad, but I was freaking awful. And that was embarrassing. So now I'll practice enough to just be bad. Hopefully my guys sing bad enough that it's worse, and everybody can laugh, and you, I can laugh at myself, put it away for another year, it's a good deal. <laughs>